is on the way. Hang in there. Yeah. Right, right, right. Just a few more days. Here's a look at Grand Lake this morning. Yeah, boy, just a great morning to be out on Grand Lake. View from Pensacola Dam. This view part of our Buffalo Run Casino and Resort Weather Camera Network. See the uh, sun right above the horizon right there. Boy, we had a beautiful sunrise this morning, which was about 720. Well, looking at some of the heat we've had so far, pretty much just this week as uh, we've had 98. That was on Wednesday. That's been our hottest temperature so far this summer still have not officially cracked the century mark we have with the heat index but not the actual temperature but it was on this day last year when we first hit 100 actually 102 we hit 104 times last july but it looks like temperatures are going to stay just below the century point not the heat index 108 today 108 tomorrow 106 sunday well, it's gonna be a lot better not as hot and steamy next week as heat index pretty close to the temperatures next Monday and Tuesday into the 80s. We're currently at 80 degrees. South winds at 15, dew points lower 70s, feels more like about 84. High temperatures this afternoon around 98 in town. Grove 94, Independence Coffeeville close to 96 today. Again, you factor in the humidity. And right along I-44 to the north, heat index approaching about 108 or 109. So stay hydrated. Stay in the shade. Certainly take it easy out there. If you're out on errands with the kids or pets, don't leave them in that hot car if you have to go inside for any type of errands. Looking at your forecast for this evening, still mighty toasty at 794. By 10 o'clock tonight, temperatures into the upper 80s. Don't really uh, cool off all that much tomorrow morning with that south wind in place as temperatures are going to be into the 70s for us. More of the same tomorrow afternoon. Very little change, middle to upper 90s. But here come the changes for Sunday. We'll be tracking a cold front throughout areas of southeast Kansas. Late Sunday night could be a few showers and thunderstorms, mainly in far northeast Oklahoma. A few of these could contain some gusty winds, but the front should begin to push across the I-44 corridor by the time we head off to work for Monday morning. So it could be some wet roadways out there. Not really expecting a whole lot of rain from the system, so no flash flooding concerns, but definitely relief from the heat heading into our Monday afternoon. So here's a look at your forecast. Upper 90s through Sunday and in that rain chance, mainly Monday morning and we're going to have three straight days of highs in the 80s and check out the lows might be able to open up those windows Tuesday night and Wednesday morning with low temperatures in the.